aim of doing this workshop today was to raise the awareness of subcontractors and vendors of local companies in Tanzania. We've explained what the project consists of and this afternoon we've had four of our level one contractors who are international contractors but who they themselves also need uh, uh, goods and services provided locally. So we've brought all of that together and I hope in one day We've given a, a good oversight, a good overview of, of what it is that the project can bring and the, and the many opportunities and benefits that we hope will, will flow into the, into the business community and, and into the wider community in Tanzania thereafter. We started the journey in uh, April 2016 and uh, at least we inside ECOP have been, uh, together with uh, many, many uh, other stakeholders, have been working on, on developing the project to where it is today and it's taken a lot of, uh, I always say, like preparation, negotiation. The word I like very much is persistence. Tanzania in Asilimia Kuminatano, Pitia TPDC, Wayosis in shareholders, Lakini Wabia Wengine in Pamodia and Asinok, a company a Yunok, Uganda, Pamodia and a company a Total, and Bawako Hapa. And the purpose of the ECO project is to export the crude oil from Tilenga and Kingfisher fields to the Tonga port in Tanzania. Then ECOP facility starts at Kabale Hub in Uganda until Tonga in Tanzania through a 1,443 long kilometer. Kwa kawaida, mradi kama huu, zabuni zinafunguliwa kwa dunia nzima katika maeneo yote. Lakini si tumekubaliana na tumeweka kwenye mkataba kwamba baadhi ya zabuni zisifunguliwe kwa dunia nzima uh, ziwe ni kwa Tanzania pekee we have what we call reserve contracts for Tanzanian companies Tanzanian citizen sometimes we call them also ring fence so all these activities are for Tanzanian companies only so transportation security food and beverage meaning uh, catering hotel accommodation yeah, okay, and Catherine. Uh, office supplies full, um, land surveying, lifting equipment, construction materials, civil works, communication, and waste management. So we pay very much attention when we are in the call for tender phase that all these work are being given only to Tanzanian companies. In a nutshell, that is the skill set that will be required it has been mentioned before that we have to be ready, we have to be involved to ensure that we also participate in this project. So these activities or these skill sets will be through the different packages that we will have. And in general, those are the goods and services that we believe the majority will be done by our local suppliers. The manpower for this project, we do expect for the entire project, to hire through our main contractors about 6,000 people throughout the project, but we see a lot of activities will be in 2023. We'll start mobilization by the end of 2022, and majority of work will be through pipeline construction and above ground installation construction. That majority of manpower will come through um, those packages. Our main contractors have committed for 400,000 man hours of training and we believe through this that we will empower our young Tanzanians and give them knowledge and experience. So the first thing, our, co our procurement process, our sourcing process, starts with what we call EOI, Expression of Interest. These EOI are published on the newspapers, the one you can see, and on the website of ECOP. We've been relaying this a lot today, but website is key, ecop.co.tz or ecop.com. That's where you are going to find most of the, I would say all the tendering exercise activities. So you have to be patient, you have to go there, and you can also definitely reach out to us if you have queries and you, want, you would like to know, but basically we are going to publish there on the website every single EOI. So once the company that's shown interest will send us, usually it's through an email, will send us the required documentation and will reply on due time. So once we select, we will submit to the selected bidders the call for tender, and these bidders will have an opportunity to, call, to, to submit a bid, a proposal. 
and the proposal usually it's including technical, contractual, commercial elements and these will be the one we are going to evaluate. Project management will be in Dar es Salaam, so our project controls, planning, uh, scheduling management, finance, construction and um, interface management. Um, engineering will be in Dar es Salaam, as will the procurement services. Uh, so this will be our hub for um, EOIs, for tender evaluations and, and the like. Preparation is, is key when, when we are in, in, in a rural area. You know, we, we cannot just go to the, to the local shop and get you know, all the parts that, that we need for our specialized equipment. So it is quite a, a, a large project uh, just to, to do that part. And we've created this company, PCEA, and PCA will be the, the, the local company um, uh, actually executing the work here in, in, in Tanzania. In total, we expect approximately 1.4 million uh, man hours um, and at any given point uh, to have over 300 people on the payroll um, on, on site. Uh, in fact, it's a, it's a combination of uh, uh, some people here in, in Dar es Salaam and, and the rest in, uh, in, in the, the plant. The instrumentation part, it will be imported in the country. So we will need a lot of support for logistic and custom clearance. And I'm welcoming, uh, welcoming everyone to, to check our website. On the careers, you will see the jobs that are available. However, you can submit your CV and apply for a particular job. Apply for that, our HR will review and uh, we will follow. We have already identified several uh, stops of the trucks. So from this uh, night stop, as you can see, Mtukula, Muleba, uh, Isaka, Misigiri, Singida, Dodoma, Orogoro, all these places, we are required and it will be done that uh, to use uh, local communities, uh, services and, uh, and goods that are required to be uh, used there. So we are encouraging people from this area to take uh, this opportunity and to take note of this. Uh, based on this uh, presentation today, I'll give kudos or I'll give 120 percent to ECO that it's very transparent. Everybody is allowed to ask questions. If you are hungry for information, you can go to the website, you can ask. There are other channels, maybe from uh, the ministry and everything. So it's transparent. It's just for you yourself to go out there and grab that opportunity. The major benefit at this point in time might be, uh, may, may sit a lot with the larger international contractors, but it's the talent that will be left behind um, is where Tanzania will actually benefit over the next 25 years. And the aim of, of this conference is basically to make sure that local content is actually being lived up to, not just being spoken in words. We, we, we want, as a supplier, as a Tanzanian, my dream is to see a local SME, a mom and dad shop down in village in Geita or Tanga is having a chance to participate in this process of pipeline has been very specific and very transparent as we know where the number of materials we know how tendering has been done we know how uh, the requirement will be we have get even access of the people who if, if we face problem we can have their contact directly so i think this is amazing it has been a great experience ever been in my business career life this is a good opportunity for us to explore more, to learn also, and to see where we also fit as a subcontractors. So we hope for the best. We will apply on the, the tendering part when it will be announced, and we'll keep an eye open on your website and on the newspapers. Thank you. The motivation of the projects is to ensure that there is a local participation as much as possible. So the local participation assessment during the contracting process is merely to establish that there is a local participation, that there is a Tanzanian participation along the project activities. For those prospective uh, vendors, suppliers, um, know that you will be assessed according to your HSC performance. Mimi Natimu Yangu, Tutaha Kihisha, Malango, Yamradi, Yame Timizua. Tutaha Kihisha, Emradi, O Uta Finica, 
kwa faida ya raia wa Tanzania na jamii na tumetia nia. Asante ni sana wa Tanzania oye. <laughs> Eko is doing a wonderful job presenting the whole project. I think that future is here for Tanzania.